Bath Maker Productions uh, out in the shop today. Finally, time to tear into the Path Maker and get this Dana 300 out. Uh, if you follow along on the channel, you probably saw last weekend I was out there doing some wheeling, uh, both Saturday and Sunday at the Frog Stompers Toy Drive, and uh, came down a little hard and grabbed some traction. Transfer case Dana 300 split right in half, so we're going to uh, pull her out of the rig and uh, see how it looks. So I'm uh, going to do a bit of a time lapse video here and uh, see how it looks. You guys can uh, follow along. I got another camera underneath and we'll see how she goes. So first step we're going to uh, get it in the air. I got to get the front jacked up and a bunch of crap on the front because my shop is tiny. Uh, welcome to my tiny messy path maker shop and um, I guess the reason I'm out here today and getting on it, it's uh, 22nd of December, three days before Christmas here. Uh, you can probably see out the window there's snow on the ground, which doesn't happen very often here and I'm missing out on snow wheeling. So I'm gonna get this case out and I got another one already lined up. Uh, hopefully the outputs are okay. We're gonna toss it back in there and we're gonna uh, get back out wheeling. I'd love to take it out and do some snow wheeling and do some filming with you guys. So. Uh, Onwards and upwards. Let's get to it. Next step is going to get the drive shafts off and uh, the traction bar off. And you're going to get to watch me climb in and out from underneath the rig a 7,000 times because I never remember what the hell the bolt sizes are. I think the drive shaft bolts are uh, 9 sixteenths. But who really knows? Well, so I bought the Princess Auto like bolt-on tranny jack attachment that you uh, screw onto this floor jack and uh, can't find it anywhere. Pretty sure I lent it to Alex and uh, ain't that the way it goes. So I'm gonna get to use a eight by eight and this gets a lot more interesting for you guys. <laughs> Why? Because there's a chance I'll drop the shit on my head. We're just pulling this uh, Dana 300 apart, and uh, there'd be my problem. to a day in the 300 it doesn't work anymore so uh, let me pull it out get her going here
this is the case. All things considered, that actually went really well. Oh, of course, what's old? That stupid breather. Should be. I think the problem is right around here somewhere. Let's uh, flip it over the other way so I can take the cover off. And we'll, uh, we'll see. Let's see what we can see on here. the other day when I talked about how I was backing into the shop and had it lock up on me when I was halfway through the door. Well, uh, that'd be why. So I guess as I was backing up, this uh, got jam jammed in there, and that was the end of going anywhere. This one looks almost identical to the one on my uh, desk. Easier to take apart when it uh, is literally in pieces. But what I'm seeing. Ready for Pathmic Reductions? Got the case out as you can see. Uh, there's good news and there's bad news. The uh, the bad news of course is that the case looks like that. Uh, got another piece for my desk. It looks almost identical to this one. The piece that's currently sitting on my desk. So uh, it's bad when you got options for things like that. But uh, well, the good news is it looks like my JB Conversions 32 spine front and rear output are looking okay. Uh, which is great. They were more expensive, obviously, than the case itself. You know, so I'm gonna be uh, grab another $300 case, throw it back together. I'll bring the cameras out here, um, film putting these back together, slamming it back in. But you know, we're about an hour and a half in, so it wasn't bad timing. So it's gonna take me a couple hours to get it back together, and uh, I'll be back on the trail in no time. Hopefully I can get out there before all this snow disappears. Uh, I'm missing out on some epic snow wheeling. So um, it's December 22nd though, so not going to have a ton of time this weekend to uh, get her done. But we'll see. I'm going to uh, come up with a different way to uh, mount the thing. I've never really liked the way I've had it. I've also feel people have been telling me I should do an aluminum. Uh, cover or a steel cover, something a little beefier than this because this uh, doesn't give much structure and you got half the case open then and I'm going to look into maybe doing a mount off the front as well um, might be a little bit crazy but I got lots of steel and uh, those are sort of easy cheap things right now it's on the budget to uh, throw an atlas in it and I'm not going to uh, Throw a, do a 205 swap at this point in the season because it's time to uh, go wheeling. So 
cheap and dirty, we're going to uh, throw another 300 case uh, in there, and uh, we've got 11 runs out of this one, so hopefully we'll uh, get a bit more out of the next one. We'll beef it up, and uh, onwards and upwards. Thanks for uh, hanging out in the shop today, and I'll uh, we'll see you on the trails.